ಹಾಯ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪರ್ಧಾ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಸ್ಪರ್ಧಾ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಗಿವನ್ ದ ಗುಡ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ದ ದೇವ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಟೆಂತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಬ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ವಿಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕ್ರಾಶ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಪ್ರಿಲ್ and also may we are going to finish the portion within 45 days to you now we have more details if you want to more details means you contact contact this number okay now i am today i am going to discuss about the coordinate geometry you know about the coordinate geometry listen carefully what is called as coordinate geometry and who gave the concept of the coordinate geometry these are the concepts we will discuss about today to you coordinate geometry for the class 10 in this listen carefully what are the objectives of coordinate geometry means listen carefully in this coordinate geometry what is cartesian coordinate system and also quadrants to you and also another one distance formula and also it comes to another one sectional formula to you today we are going to discuss about the what is cartesian coordinate system and what we call it as an a coordinate geometry coordinate geometry means listen carefully coordinate geometry is has been developed as an algebraic tool for studying geometry of the figures it helps us to study the geometry using the algebra and understand the algebra with the help of the geometry listen carefully you know that how to how to express for the coordinate geometry means you don't know the how to understand by the coordinate geometry means it is an algebraic tool for studying the geometry we are using as an algebraic tool for studying the geometry of the figures and it helps us to study the geometry using algebra with the help of the algebra we can study by the geometry and also understand the algebra with the help of the geometry is called as an coordinate geometry here listen carefully this is one of the branch of mathematics to what can position of the object in a plane how can where can be locate the position of the object in a plane we are discussing that branch of mathematics we can call it as an coordinate geometry here use the algebra to study the geometrical figure that is operates on symbols is defined as the coordinate system we call it as an coordinate geometry to you listen carefully the system of the geometry where the position of an object on the plane is described using an order pair of the numbers we call it as an order pair of the numbers what we can say as an order pair of the numbers we will discuss on the next slides to you the methods of describing the location of the points in the plane and also this concept has proposed by the one of the french mathematician rene descartes when he slept in the bed he think about the how can we have to express by the position of the object in the bed he has this think and he gave as an a concept that concept is called as an coordinate geometry he proposed further that curves and lines could be described by the equations using the techniques thus being the first to link the algebra and geometry he has linked by the algebra and geometrical concepts that concepts is called as an coordinate geometry to you then next we will discuss about the honor as his work and coordinate geometry of a points are often of referred to as a, its cartesian coordinate and the coordinate plane as the cartesian coordinate plane where can be located by the object you can give the expression that cause that's why that mathematician name is called as an rene descartes listen here rene descartes explain the concept about some basic points about the coordinate geometry means to locate the position of an object point on a plane where required a pair of coordinate axis you know that in a plane we can know that horizontal line is called as an this is one of the horizontal line means we know that the horizontal line is called a horizontal line means listen carefully we call it as an horizontal line that horizontal line is called as an x axis to you this horizontal line means we can write it as a like this horizontal line means this horizontal line we call it as an x and also x dash then x and x dash we can call it as an horizontal line to you same as that y and y dash this is the call it as an y and also this point we can call it as an y dash to you this y and y dash we can call it as an vertical line in a plane we can divide the x axis 
and also y-axis. They meet at the two points. X-axis and y-axis, they meet perpendicularly to the, at the two point. This point we can call it as an origin to you. Where they can, the plane can be divided. The plane can be divided by x-axis and y-axis in the two to four parts. Each part we can call it as an quadrants to you. What we call it as quadrant? Quadrant means, here listen carefully, each part of a Kappa, each part of the plane. We call it, this is the first part and also this is the second part and also this is the third part and also this one we can call it as a fourth part. An anti-clockwise di direction, we divide the plane into four quadrant. That x-axis and y-axis divide the plane into four quadrant. Each quadrant we can call it as first quadrant, second quadrant and third quadrant and fourth quadrant. To, to locate the position of a point on a plane, we required a pair of coordinate axes. These coordinate axes we can do to locate by the points, we can call it as an, we can discuss this as a basic points to you. And and also you know that when we can call it as an x co y co when we can call it as a x coordinate or abscissa means for example the perpendicular line drawn from the this is a one of the point i will consider as a coordinate point means x comma y is an a coordinate point means what we call it as an x axis means the perpendicular line drawn from the this is the perpendicular line the perpendicular line drawn from the y axis is called as an x coordinate or we call it as an abscissa to you same as that the perpendicular line done drawn from the point on the x axis is called as an y coordinate this is the one of the point means we can draw the perpendicular line from the x axis where the per per perpendicular line drawn from the point to x axis we can call it as an y coordinate to you we know that in this y coordinate and x coordinate we can denote sometimes suppose your point can be lies on your point can be lies on the on the point line on the x-axis means we call it as an x value is a zero uh, sorry x value has some values and y is always equal to zero the point lies on x-axis the coordinate of a point of the x-axis are can be formed as a x comma zero and also the coordinate point on the y-axis listen carefully this is the point it can be lies on y axis means here obtained by the points is always we can call it as an 0 comma y to you where the coordinate point lies on x axis means that lies on x axis the point is always x value it have some values and y you can call it as a 0 y value is always 0 and the point lies on y axis means that point we can call it as an 0 comma y is the coordinate point when we can meet coordinate axis x coordinate and also y coordinate then meet at perpendicular we can call it as a origin and also perpendicular distance from the point to x point to y axis is called as a abscissa and perpendicular line drawn from the point to x axis is called as an ordinate or coordinates to you a y coordinate or coordinates to you then we can go for the what is coordinate plane means you know that what we can call it as a coordinate plane means i already told you O is an one of the origin. When we drawn from the R, zero is an origin. When you line drawn from the horizontally, we call it as X, O and X dash. This line is called as an X axis. What we call it as this line? X axis. What we can, that horizontal line is called as a X axis. That X axis we can denote it as a X O and X dash or X zero X dash is called as an X axis to you. Same like that only you know call it as an X dash O X dash X is called as a X axis to you. Same as that vertical line Y O Y dash Y O Y dash we call it as an Y axis to you or Y dash O Y we can call it as an a, a Y axis to you. Where they can meet X dash X X dash O X and also y o y dash they meet at point we call it as an origin they meet at perpendicular to the one of the point that point we can call it as an x axis the origin to you then positive of the origin you know that the right side moving in the x axis numbers are called as an a positive direction and left side moving numbers are also called as an negative direction of the x axis and upside numbers are called as an a positive one 
y axis and downside moving numbers are called as a negative and y axis we can denote it as a from the origin to right side positive directions 1 2 3 4 5 like this and also from the origin to negative side or left side we can call it as a negative direction from the origin to upside numbers are called on the y axis we can denote it as a positive direction of the y axis and also from the origin to here y dash origin to y dash or o to y dash we can call it as a negative direction this one downward from the y axis so from the origin to downward we can call it as an y negative direction of the y axis points we know that a plane can be divided i already told you a plane can be divided the into four quadrant the x axis and y axis are horizontal line and vertical line a plane can be divided into how many quadrant four quadrant each quadrant is called as a first quadrant and also second quadrant and third quadrant and also fourth quadrant then what are the values of first quadrant i already told you right side moving numbers are called as positive x axis then x you can write it as an a positive and the upside number of the y value is always is also positive then we can write it as in the first quadrant obtained by the points are always plus plus here x value is also plus and y value is also plus the coordinate point on x are first quadrant it always positive then coordinate point on the second quadrant you know that x is negative that negative direction of the x axis we told you already negative direction are in the left side of the x axis or x 0 to x dash values are called as a negative direction that values we can call it as a minus comma plus to you same as that in the third quotient third quotient obtained by the points are always minus minus you know that here x is also negative direction y is also it will be in the negative direction that's why x is also negative y is also negative that's why x value is also negative and also y value is also negative but here x is also positive y is also positive in the coordinate system in the first quadrant here x is negative and y is positive in the second quadrant but in the third quadrant x is also negative and y is also negative if i come for the fourth quadrant listen carefully if i come for the fourth quadrant what it can be have the coordinate points means okay here know that in the fourth quadrant it obtained by the points are always positive and negative x is negative positive direction and y is negative direction uh, that's why you are obtained by the coordinate points in the fourth quadrant it is always positive and negative then we shall go for the coordinates means listen carefully we know that how to draw from the location of the points means what is the position of the point in the first quadrant means you all i already told you in the first quadrant obtained by the points are always positive that's why x is what is the value of x here 2 that's why x is 2 x point is always we can call it as a 2 to you then y coordinate you know that what is the distance here the here 2 you can be have 2 that's why it obtained by the points is always equal to it always equal to what x x here obtained by the points is always equal to what we can say that this point x comma 2 comma 1 x is 2 and y is always equal to how much 1 this is the coordinate point here lies by the points are always positive suppose you know that here obtained by the point 2 comma 1 is the point on the first quadrant suppose your point lies on which quadrant there third quadrant third quadrant means i already told you perpendicular distance from the y axis how much distance can be have 3 what is the value minus 3 and also here what can be have your next point minus 2 that's why here obtained by the coordinate point in the third quadrant is always we can call it as an minus 3 comma minus 2 is the coordinate point then we shall go for the, you know that abscissa is the minus 3 and ordinate is equal to what minus 2 what is the abscissa here minus 3 x is nothing but a abscissa y is nothing but a, what we can call it as ordinate to you here x is a negative suppose your point is lies on this quadrant you know that here the point which quadrant it becomes to this point here for example what is the point of i have to find out means what is the point here what is the x value and what is the y value i have to find out if i draw the line like this what we can call it as a x point here 4 you know that and also what we call it as an y point means minus 2 comma 
5. This is called as an point. Your x is positive, y is negative. That's why obtained by the points go in the fourth quadrant is always equal to what? Negative, positive, negative. You know that, listen carefully. What I said, once again, I will recall to you. Here in the first quadrant, all the points are all the coordinate points are always positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, here negative, positive. X is negative, Y is positive. In the third quadrant, X is also negative and Y is also negative. In the fourth quadrant, X is positive, Y is negative to you. Then we shall go for the, suppose, I already told you, the point lies on X axis, what we can obtain on positive, uh, point lies on Y axis means. Suppose if the point lies on X axis means, this is the one of the point means. What we can say that this point, we can call it as an A, 3 comma 0. If the point lies on Y axis. They given one examples to you. 1 comma 0 is the point. Lies on which quadrant they are asking to you. Is it lies on first quadrant? or is it lies on the second quadrant or it is lies on the third quadrant or it is lies on the which axis here answer is none of this here the point which is lies on the axis do not lie on any quadrant to you that's why the point lies on which axis to you x axis your 1 comma 0 point is lies on which axis x axis suppose they given the point like this 2 comma 0 means the 2 comma 0 means where it can be lies as the 2 comma 0 means that it lies on y axis to you. Okay, that's why I am saying to you if any value of the x and y is 0 means it lies on x axis or sorry this is 0 comma 2, 0 comma 2 to you. If the point lies on y axis your points always it can be have 0 comma y to you. 0 comma y then we will go you know that how to find out as a distance if they give you the horizontal distance means this is the one of the horizontal distance they given a point and also b point means a equal to x1 y1 and also b equal to x2 y2 means we can easily find out by the distance what actual distance can we have initial distance to the final distance we have to subtract differentiate of the final distance minus initial distance means you can get it as an actual distance between the the AB lines. Same as that, if you given the vertical lines means, listen carefully, this is the one of the vertical line. If they given the vertical line AB means, what is the actual distance can we have? X1, Y1, they given vertical line and X2, Y2 is the vertical line they given means. Then what is the distance between these two main means? We have to subtract it from Y2 minus Y1 means you will get it as an A vertical line distance to you. Here horizontal distance means x2 minus x1. Vertical distance means what you have to do? y2 minus y1. You will get it as an a distance of these lines to you. Suppose sometimes they will give the line like this. It is one of the slope of the line. What we call it as this line? Slope of the line. If they given slope of the line on that time how to find out as a distance. The P point is x1, y1 and Q point is x2, y2. They given slope of the line like this means on that time how to find out as a distance. We can use the one of the formula. That formula we can call it as an distance formula to you. When you are to apply the distance formula, they given the horizontal slope of the line. So you know the vertical distance and horizontal distance means we can easily find out least distance between vertical line if I took means you go for the y2 minus y1 you make it means you will get it as a vertical line distance horizontal line means x2 minus x1 you will get it as an horizontal line distance to you we make it as x2 minus x1 you will get it as horizontal distance to you and vertical line means y2 minus y1 subtracted by final distance minus initial distance means you will get it as an a distance of the vertical line to suppose if they given the slope of the line line it must be like this means how to find out as a distance we can use the one of the formula that formula we can call it as distance formula to you this concept we will discuss on next slide to you thank you